Today I am here to show you all the books that I have gotten in January. This month has been a really great month of getting some proofs, some final copies, some books that I'm really really excited for and some books that I'm actually already picked up because I've turned a new leaf. Not that you would think that based on how many books there are here but I have a decent amount. I always like to preface these videos by saying I work in publishing. I am actually a marketing assistant at a publishing house here in South Africa. In addition to that, I also review books quite predominantly on my Instagram. I also have a TikTok if you're interested in checking that out. I'm trying to get more active in it, but I feel like it's one of those things where it takes a lot of practice to get into it. And I think without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight in. So the first book you would have seen, it was actually sitting like right there, and that is A Man Called Uber by Fedrick Buckman. The reason why I have this copy and this copy is because the publisher that I work for is currently hosting a read-along for this book because the movie is coming out or is out. It's out overseas, but it's coming out in South Africa in February. So obviously we're doing a read-along. I had to buy this copy because we hadn't received ours yet and I had to read it, so I did. And I'm so happy that I got both of these. I think this would be like a great collection. I really like this book. I'm not gonna tell you too much just because I will be doing a wrap up. Moving on to some other books that I actually got from work. And that is these two over here. We have Hedge Witch by Sky McKenna. The second book to this book, which is called Wood Witch, is coming out soon. And this just looks really, really cozy. I am trying to get back into middle grade books. I haven't read them a lot recently and I do wanna get back into them because they tend to be quite cozy. And this is the worst week ever starting with Monday. In fact, we're going to get an entire series this year from all the way from Monday through to Friday. And this is just like a fun kiddies book about the worst week ever. And I think it's going to be a really fun book for young kids to read. I think especially kids around the ages of six to nine. And this I think is more nine to twelve just for reference. Then I got quite spoiled by Penguin Random House this month, which I am so grateful for, but the book they sent me in here is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I am currently reading this and you'll find out pretty soon. I don't want to spoil it because I do think it's been, it's been a project I've been working on for the last couple of weeks and I'm really excited to wrap it up, but I really am happy that I got The Hawthorne Legacy. I originally got The Inheritance Games last year, September for my birthday. My boyfriend bought it for me and I'm really excited to continue on with the series. As you can see, I'm quite a way into the book already and I'm actually hoping to finish finish it today, the last day of this month. I then went and purchased myself The Final Gambit by Jane Finland Barnes. There was kind of a mix up with the books I received. I was supposed to receive The Final Gambit and The Hawthorne Legacy. It wasn't in there so I went and grabbed it because I do need to read this quite quickly and quite soon. I prefer the US covers which look like that but I am really happy. I do find that these books go quite quickly. Once again I'm not going to tell you too much about this. The first book which is the Inheritance Games follows our main character Avery as she has been thrust into the world of the rich and she is seemingly a stranger and she is trying to, with along with the boys, the Hawthorne boys, she is trying to figure out why she was chosen to inherit all this money from this random rich man and it takes them on this journey through discovering mysteries, uncovering stuff, uncovering stories about the family, and a whole bunch of things. I really liked the first one, but I won't get too far into it. So I'm happy to continue on with the series and hopefully get to the third book quite soon. Then I purchased The Bone Spindle by Leslie Vedder. This book is a book club pick for me. I will be reading this hopefully in February. I'm not too sure when, but we decided on this book, which I don't know too much about, but I do think it's an LGBTQ plus plus book. Not entirely sure, so don't, don't take my word for it, but it does seem to be a Sleeping Beauty retelling and I'm all for like classic fairy tale retellings. Next book I got is A Proof From Work, which I'm so excited for and you will be seeing this quite soon. And that is Unfortunately Yours by Tessa Bailey. This comes out in June. I'll get a specific date on the screen for you, but I am really excited for this one. Tessa Bailey has been dubbed the Michelangelo of Dirty Talk by Entertainment Weekly. So I'm of course really excited to pick this one up. I have read some other Tessa Baileys in the recent months, I would say, probably the last couple. I read the Salinger Sisters, Hallinger Sisters, whichever one those ones are, the hook, line, sinker, and the other one. I read, so I'm really excited to pick this up. This is another quick duology by her following, I think, Friends, um, but I'm really excited to pick this one up. Then I purchased Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldu for myself in this gorgeous, I think this is supposed to be like the Waterstone exclusive, but we got it here in South Africa. So it's got that and it's just like pretty plain, but we also have these gorgeous end papers, which is the original hardcover. I also picked this up not only because I have an idea of when to read this, but because I feel like cozy fantasy is me. I love a book, I love, I love anything that makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. For me, that's The Witcher when it comes to actual games. And obviously you have your traditional cozy fantasy games such as Animal Crossing. Recently, I've also been playing Ori and the Blind Forest, which 
frustrates me so much, but it's just such a good vibe. I'm really excited to pick this one up. I've heard nothing but incredible things since the self-pub version was released, and now obviously the officially published version is also available. I do like this cover. I will say that I do prefer the original more so than this, but this does remind me a lot more of a coffee shop because it's like of the chalk. So it's definitely it's definitely a lot more coffee-esque. Penguin Random House South Africa also kindly sent me curry soda is back by Taylor Jenkins Reid once more. You will see this in a video quite soon. And I'm just so excited to have this on like in my possession. I was kind of trying to hopefully attempting, it was really much a very big attempt to hold back and get the paperback, not the trade. This is the trade, which is a slightly bigger paperback. These just didn't work out that way, but I'm so happy that I got this because spoiler alert i really enjoyed this book then moving on swiftly i bought myself clock well, actually my boyfriend bought me clockwork princess which is the third and final book in the infernal devices series i needed this because i actually have books one and two in this edition the original and i really wanted to collect them in their original editions for some reason i definitely won't get that i won't get that lucky with the um model instrument series per se but i really am happy that i got these in the original covers i really am excited i really enjoyed reading this years and years ago when i was in high school which now feels like forever ago and i think i was 16 when i read these plus minus and i really really enjoyed the series so i'm hoping to do a reread pretty soon and so i really wanted to grab this as soon as possible we're now moving on to some of the proofs that i got from work and i'm ho also hoping that you'll see these in a video soon don't know when but soon hopefully and the first one i have here is fine shade by cat Kate Griffin. This is a thriller-esque book which is got which has an absolutely stunning cover. I think the original cover looks like this, but with it will look essentially like that. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. This one comes out in May this year, and I'm hoping to pick it up really, really soon because it just sounded really great. I think this is gonna be a dark academia-esque book. Not too sure though. Don't don't bet on it. I also then grabbed Yellow Face by RF Kwong or Rebecca F. Kwong in this case. She's just changed it up a little bit for this book. If you haven't heard about this book, where have you been? This is another one of those books where essentially our main character has stolen a manuscript and whether or not that was a good thing. And it talks about consequences and it takes a big look at the publishing industry as a whole and I think this is going to be so incredible to read so I'm so excited especially as someone who is an active participant in the publishing industry this is going to be great. I then have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Rebecca Ross has been making such waves recently with her fantasy novels and thinking in particular an enchantment of rivers I think it is and this is her new more young adult book called Divine Rivals where our main characters are rival journalists, journalists with secret letters and one magical connection and this is basically what the cover will look like just with you know divine rivals on it i do think it's quite gorgeous and i'm so excited to pick this up this comes out in april this year then the second last book i have here is the hike by lucy clark i absolutely loved reading one of the girls by lucy clark and i think i read another book by her i'm not entirely sure what it was called but i really enjoyed it so i really am glad that i got the proof of this essentially our main character finds herself lost in a norwegian forest and lucy clark herself actually did research and went hiking in the Norwegian woods and I really am excited for this. This is a holiday of a lifetime, a killer on the trail which I am so excited for. And the last book I have is actually out right now and that is The Circus Train by Amita pa Parikh. Parikh? And this is a World War II retelling and a book about a magical circus. So if you're a fan of the Night Circus, then you'll probably be a fan of this. Those are all the books that I got in the month of January. I definitely sped through this at the moment just because I feel like I don't know too much about these because I haven't read them and I'm hopefully going to read them soon. A lot of them have videos I have videos in mind for. So you should be seeing that quite soon. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comment section what you recently got and if you've read any of these that you think I should get to sooner rather than later. As mentioned, I am currently reading The Hawthorne Legacy and will probably be picking up the final gambit quite soon. So those two are really like out of the question. Like I've, I'm going to be reading those soon anyway. So let me know down below which ones I should get to next or which ones you'd like to see my thoughts on sooner rather than later. And thank you so very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.